Hello and welcome to Anson's TV. My name is Jack and I'm here with Ben. Brother. There's a lot of effort just to say my name. Yeah, it's good. Let's <laughs> fist bump this stuff. Lovely to steal you from the shop. Uh, we're just going through some modular stuff as always. I'm getting into it. You're a big part of the store. Uh, I can, you know, bringing in more modular stuff. Uh, we've got a little rig of yours here, and that's not a euphemism. We're, this is, <laughs> uh, we've got a new bit of kit that's not even in the store yet, but it's you've on got, the way. It's on the way. What is it? So a company from America called Noise Engineering. We have their Manis Eteritas. Everything's named in Latin. I don't know why. Oh, this I love incredible. that. It's very Guildford, very, 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 <laughs> yeah. very public school. Definitely. But I, I, I'm suspecting that it won't have very public school sounds. Oh, definitely not. So no. should we high five and get round to this shit? Let's do it. OK, we're here with the Noise Engineering Manis Eteritas. What on earth is this? It looks cool. It looks really cool. It has some very fun words on it. We have controls for prof profundity, oh. uh, smash, and bash, which we'll get to later. Oh, my um, mate Dan Bingham will have the old smash mm. knob. So, at, it's basically it's just a voice in a box. And um, one thing that we looked at with the new Roland stuff is they've got their little module, which is everything you need to get started. It is just a synth, basically. We've got another one from Studio Electronics, which we'll look at soon. Mm. But this one's pretty special. So on the inside, it's an FM oscillator with six operators and it can go from vaguely polite FM. to not at all. So uh, Jack, would you like to shred a smidge? Oh, it's, it's monophonic, yeah? Everything you're a rack, mostly monophonic. So we've got a nice, let's get rid of some of these cables, we've got a nice control in the middle with for your filter. show off this Waldorf case a bit. Let's grab the velocity output over on the left. Uh, nice. Plug that into the so filter. We're just, that's just the sound out of that module at the moment. Mm-hmm. Ooh. So it's velocity sensitive now. Yep. We've also got nice. on the top right, we've got an envelope. which can also go into free running mode. Which can nice. be useful if you're not playing it. Okay, yeah, I get it. Uh, it's useful for saving on envelopes and VCAs and all those uh, boring things. Mm -hmm. They're not boring, really. Okay, so if you want to keep playing... Yeah. Next control, got saw mod. gets this sort of saw, super saw vibe. Then profundity. Adds a bit of noise in there. Smash. And lastly, bash. This does, it takes the envelope and routes it to various places in the module. Positively and negatively. So you can hear it can go very short, it can make all sorts of things like kicks, snares, hi-hats. Jack. Oh, where's my octave thing? Bam. Oh, I like that, like a ship's wheel. Awesome. Woo! So we've got a little hit button here, which is quite handy for auditioning sounds. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah. It's very thoughtful. Mm. 
So there's a mode switch here. We've got three different algorithms for the FM stuff to happen. We've got a pitch envelope in it. And the third mode. God. <laughs> it's just, it just sounds mean. It's incredible. Okay. It sounds incredible. So I just want to get my head around it. it like, uh, so you said the FM synthesis. Well, you started off with that saw mod. Mm. What, what do you see it as in your tonal palette? Because I'm seeing these things as colours, me, mm. uh, the different modules. And that sounds really pretentious, but it's trying to make it actually very simple for my little brain to deal with. So it's FM synthesis and these saw mod. Is it FM synthesis evolved? Kind of, is that what you see it as? Or, yeah, you tell me what you see this module sitting in your pantheon of other modules. It's kind of... Interesting, I wouldn't, well, FM is how it works on the inside, but I would never say, oh, yeah, here's this FM sound because it might conjure up DX7 kind of vibes. Yeah. I'm sure a DX7 could do it, um, but it's not Cause when you, the, as soon the as ideal you went, purpose. Yeah, as soon as you went off with the saw mod, it just seemed like it was just flipping, mm. flipping it on its head. So your regular FM synths like the DX7 will work with sine waves. This is all saw teeth on the inside, oh, cool. um, which is what makes it super aggressive and evil. Right, yeah. I've only ever, yeah, that's a massive difference. There's a bunch of Iteritas modules like uh, Bazimilus Iteritas, Alta, Cursus Iteritas, Latin everywhere. Um, but a lot of those will have different mechanics on the inside. They're all FM and digital, um, but some of them lend themselves a bit better to more polite uh, sort of ambient things, and some do percussion a lot better. Uh, but this is just kind of industrial noise. Um, but all these modules, if you have it, if you throw enough modulation at them, you can do an entire set just with one sound source because it can be your toms, it can be your kick, it can be a snare, all by just messing around with these CV inputs. Because we've got an input for every control on here. Great, and, and you, you see it as that more as a rhythmic thing. You, you've been Definitely. playing with this. It's bass lines and leads for me, mm -hmm. and a lot of the time claps. I don't really use it for kicks. It does claps really well. Well, that'd be interesting. It's a strange one. Can we coax a clap out? Of course of we can. So what I'll do is use the uh, Maleco Heavy Industry Variegate Four Plus. That's a bit of a word salad there. <laughs> let's um, <laughs> let's grab some of these the cables out of the way. The modular is a word salad. You've nailed it. Definitely. That. There's um, quite a famous circuit called the Rungler. Which um, does some very strange and exciting things. I just noticed you've got some pretty badass tattoos, my brother. I'm a bit of a nerd, yeah. <laughs> what? Uh, show these out, show it. We've got polar mic, polar pads. I'm so sad. <laughs> and then well, we've got some just patch inputs. Maybe. <laughs> okay, all right, we'll see here. Cool. Um, <laughs> so what we can do with this is grab two pitch outputs and two gate outputs at once. So if I grab one of the gate things, this works on probability. So sliders all the way to the right, 100% probability. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Probability? Yes. Basically just the probability of a gate appearing at that <laughs> step. <laughs> it's happening. Again, you've got to <laughs> check it out. Robert Rhodes, that's your... That's me, that's me. Killing sounds. Pretty basic stuff there at the moment. So let's grab a pitch for this. This one is basically going to be a P. 
pitch output, but it can be smooth, unquantized voltage. Let's try... step. And we could grab another gate output, put that into, let's have a look, profundity, which is called deep on the module. out, mm. it can still be very polite if you want. The clarity, the imaging of it all is exceptional. It is definitely a favourite of mine, this one. So you wanted a clap, let's make a clap. Some other percussions. I love how that sounds, I'm so simplistic, I'm like, oh yeah, can I just get a clap? This is basically create a modular symphony. So yeah, let's go from this melodic tone. Well, it's not melodic at all, it's just one note. Ooh. So it's a really short envelope, we can get all sorts of clicky sounds. have something like that. That could be a, a snare of some description or a yeah. clap. Do you want to try something? Sorry. Yeah, go for it. Cool. <laughs> I'm just slowly, I'm watching you, I'm like, oh. Get it. If we're, going, if we're going a little bit faster, we can do that little kind of track weird pass. Thing. Yeah. Exactly, that's what I was telling Chris earlier. So yeah, just a quick look at that one, but it's there's a lot of sound in there. Fab and when do you think we'll be getting these in to the store? Um, so what have we got? I'm hoping this for... video might come out maybe on the day we yeah, do. Yeah, no idea when it will come so... out, but next month. So that'll be what are we in July, hopefully. July 2018. You didn't hear it here first, I'm not promising anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. But, and, um, as these sit, I don't, again, layman here, how are these, like, in the, like, Premier League of modules? What are we talking? In the Premier League, they sit kind of in the, well, price-wise at least, they're kind of halfway, um, but I think they're incredible value for, like, how many different sounds. This one is probably, I mean, you heard it's pretty versatile, it's probably the least versatile of the, sort of, the Terratas stuff, um, and, and whereabouts are these made by any chance? I think they're LA. Right, not, cool. Not 100% sure. So we're that. really jumping in the shop. We're like mm. ordering the. That's really exciting stuff. And what days are you in in the store? Just I do Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays at the moment. So please do come in and pick my brains about it. There's nothing I like more than being a massive nerd every day. Nice. And <laughs> you, can, you can grab you on the phone as well. Yep, that works too. Lovely. What I'd love to do is again escape 
stop dumbing the level of this <laughs> video down, let you get in and jam us out as always, man. Real pleasure. Let's do it. Word. Peace. <laughs>thanks for watching the Andertons YouTube music technology channel if you're a guitar player or you play bass or a drummer or you're into keyboards you might like one of our other YouTube channels and I'll put links to those in the description below anyway if you'd like to find out more about the products we featured in this video please click up here if you'd like to watch another video from this channel please click here if you'd like to buy a t-shirt like the one I'm wearing click down here and lastly if you'd like to subscribe to our music tech YouTube channel please click down here. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.